Chapter 4, The Rose and the Serpent. December 8, 1858. Ha, well, hello to my saviors. Lord Almighty, what's the matter with your sister? Don't really know yet. Strange things are happening. Tell me about it. I was going to the W. Hood Company to get men to help me fix the bridge to the village, only to find out that the camp had been attacked. We found guys that had been half eaten. Not a pretty sight. They say there are vile beasts prowling around here. We'll see about your troubles a little later, Miller. The important thing is to get the bridge fixed so we can save our sister. Joe, run to the village and get Dr. Lamontang. Bring him back here as quickly as you can. Josephine is too weak to make the trip. All right, so now what? Oh, we're going to Louisville. All right. Say, sister, don't suppose you saw Dr. Lamontang in the village? My little sister's very sick, and I was sent to get him. No, he hasn't been seen in two days. What's more, ever since the church burned down, the priest hasn't been showing himself. He doesn't want to see anyone. You know, there are people who say that your sister is a witch, and that it was all her fault. I'm not surprised. So there's nothing you can do for us? The best I can offer you is divine peace. Would you accept my blessings? Bless me. Ah, uh, I'm all yours. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please tell me she can bless my wife. Yes, she can! All right! <laughs> nice smile. Let's see, at the convent, you can bless your weapons and bullets to increase the effectiveness against diabolic creatures. Of course, it requires donations. Bless one bullet. Holy sweet. Sweet, I got a holy bullet. I got a holy bullet. Huh, Notre Dame convent. Alright, so we'll see here. I can bless the enemy wish only on the condition that it be used to defend the cause of God. Blessed weapons cause more damage to diabolic creatures such as war wolves and will o' wisps. But works like a normal weapon against the other types of creatures. So against wolves it's just normal. Okay. And she can't re holy she got extra holy bullets, see here. My axe! Please tell me it stays holy. It, it probably stays holy. Let's see. Okay, so it's 10 cents for this, and it's a... What's the what's the word? Looney? That's a Canadian dollar, right? So it's a loony, or one dollar, American, to uh, bless an axe. Well, we're totally blessing this, because I'm going to be stabbing... Not stabbing. I'm going to be slashing me some were werewolves. So let's do that. A blessing! Sweet. And the, the pentagram is a symbol of blessed. All right, so here we go. Return to town. Look in the village of Wolfsvale. Enter a shop, click the, the building, and return to your house, click on the road. Alright. Hotel! Welcome to the Hotel Canada. Okay, buying items. Click on the item you want to purchase. Stop, so if I need some booze. And if I'm selling, I sell my non-booze. Alright, let's see here. You de V, that's my guess is how you pronounce that, produced by distilling blueberries and cloudberries. It can burn the throat of even the heaviest drinkers. People have attributed uh, medicinal properties to U de V, uh, saying that it prolongs life if you drink small doses uh, regularly. Because of its antiseptic properties, it can also be used to disinfect wounds. Ooh. Isn't all alcohol able to do that? Spruce beer. Spruce moose beer. Now, brewed ever since the 17th century upon the arrival of the first European settlers, this typical Canadian beverage revives the, the spirit and stimulates the body of an, an exhausted man so that with the first touch of his lips to the effervescent foam, he is instantly perked up. I should have read this differently, huh? With a voice. Through Chez, Odelon, Chachon, whatever. Caribou! That's a deer, right? This traditional Canadian alcohol is distilled illegally <laughs> by hotel keepers to satisfy the demand during evening celebrations. Often adulterated and with an extremely high alcohol content, caribou warms and numbs the drinker, giving him a temporary feeling of power. So this gives me a damage boost, this will give me a stamina boost, and this will give me healing. And I suppose I should have one of each, so one of each seems like a good plan. Return to the Villa Watch. Let's see here. 
Hardware store, no, no. church already been in there. Mayor, the mayor. Oh, let's check out general store. Who's Bill General Store? That okay, mutton chops. Jesus Christ, look at this guy. Those are mutton chops, right? Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm not gonna assume what I know. What the hell I'm talking about? Bullets are one cent each. Damn. God bless Canada. Huh? Let's let's buy these bullets. Uh, this is a better rifle, I'm guessing. Let me see my rifle. Not much damage. I have one damage. Better range. Be same reload. Better discretion, though. Ooh. Might want to get this. The Hawken Rocky Mountain Rifle. The rifle of choice for hunters and trappers th throughout North America. North America. The Hawken Rocky Mountain stands out among muskets for its remarkable range and accuracy provided by the seven grooves in its barrel. On the downside, its flintlock firing mechanism is outdated and the round balls have a tendency to jam the barrel after firing several rounds in succession, which slows reloading. Less a fan. Okay, let's check out uh, armor. Oh, wolf fur vest. Given the abundance of wolves in the air, in the region, it's gone. it goes without saying that the fur of the animal, uh, this animal is becoming more and more common in the shops. The wolf hide coats are, in, in addition to thick enough to protect the wearer, a bit from a... Uh, a bit from minor damage. I keep reading those A's as twos. Protects one HP. All right. While well, as I currently don't wear any armor, so okay. Probably want to buy that instead of the rifle next. Well, yeah. Wait, what was the damage on that again? Let's go back in there. What was the damage on that? Well, it has better range. Hmm, that might be a good reason, but I think armor will probably go better because the rifle being used for traps at the moment. Hardware store, blacksmith. Hardware store, look and what can I do for it? Let's see, oh, axes. G. White Co. Broad Axe. This axe ma made by the G. White Co. Axe Co. G. White Axe Co. Has a large iron Canadian style head and is used mainly to cut up in square trees that have already been chopped down. In skillful hands, it can be transformed into two, into a devastating weapon thanks to its reinforced steel edge but its short oak handle and its relative poor balance made it make it a temperamental weapon. Now if it rages, great. Let's see your damage, agility, range. My weapon has better range, but less agility. Let's check out the other one. The Forest Queen Felling Axe. The Forest Queen Michigan Head Axe, reinforced with steel, is made in Upper Canada by the Dundas Axe Factory and is one of the most popular felling axes. Its four pound head has a nice counterweight to give it Good balance and its straight ash ha haft provides it with an impressive reach. While it's not a top of the line product, it's a simple, reliable, durable axe. It's got superior damage, agility, and range to my. It's got superior damage and agility. <laughs> Mine only has one dot. Okay, so because I have an old pine axe, well, in the future we'll probably want this axe. Chez Theopold Telefer. Hardware store. Cannot pronounce any of these names. Heaven help me. The convent. Oh, wait, I've already been here. Nothing new here. Her name is Rosamy, I believe it was. Do I want to holify any more bullets? No, I do not. One holy bullet's good enough. Save that for a werewolf. To the house. We must protect this house. Oh, geez. More. Oh, bait. Bait. Check out bait. Bait. Bait will delay the enemies who eat it. This icon shows how much time is left before the bait is finished. The more enemies there are eating it, the faster it will finish. Sounds like I should put a rock trap under there, huh? You can return to the village at any time just by clicking that icon. Okay. So we got a werewolf next to the house coming. All right, and then we got these guys, wolves, and this guy's going for the barn. Hmm, let's see here. Anything cost money yet? No, not just, okay. Attracts the bees and stops them while they devour the bait. Okay, combine it with other traps, of course, of course. Okay, I got to deal with that werewolf there. I got a blessed weapon, though. All right, so which, where's this guy going to go? Can you give me his trail? Okay, there's his trail. Okay, there's this guy's trail. There's his trail. Going straight for the house. So then, I will want to put three werewolf traps right here. 
Can I zoom in this? Two, three. Ta da! Can I not put another one? Is there not a, is there no good spot for me to put this? Let me see. Oh, these cost money? Oh, shoot, I never noticed. So, wolf traps cost money. Oh, crap, I wish I knew that. Okay, so. Let's save that money. Okay, we're gonna do a new plan here. Okay, so we're gonna use bait to hold this guy off. And bait to hold this guy off. Now, while they're dealing with those things, I can do other things. So, bonfire here for. Oh, we're only dealing with one wave? Alright, well then. Rock trap. There's no trees nearby, are there? Here we go. There we go. Put a bait under there. Now for this wolf, we're going to put two baits here. We got the money because rock traps don't cost anything. So here we go. Rock trap there. Rock trap there. Now when I fire this one to get these three wolves, this werewolf's going to get attracted. Let's see. I should have enough for this. So we're going to put this here. There. He'll be busy while I take this one out. And then I gotta run over, I gotta take care of this one, and then run over and take care of this guy. But he may move over. We'll find out when the fight comes. Let's do this. Anything, oh, I got another skill point. Everything's equipped. Skill point. Hmm, I like the idea of traps lasting longer. 20 seconds more sounds great, though. Flying brace the bit. Hmm, bloodthirst. I am dealing with werewolves. Let's get some health out of these guys. Actually, no, no, no. Right. Cancel that, cancel that. Let's get the bonfire up. I'm going to be fighting that werewolf at the bonfire most likely if I mess up. So let's do that. All right, it's go time. Alright, here we go. Now we want to deal with those werewolves first. Scroll the mouse wheel between bullets. Okay. Okay, I see. Let's get going here. Now we're going to take out the three wolves first, or the werewolf. Actually, we should take out the werewolf first. Now we're going to take out the three wolves first. That way, at least we have that out of the way. Three. There we go. Reload, 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 reload. I'm detected. I'm de oh, they're still alive? Oh, crap. Okay. Well, they're not going to stand a chance. There you go. Reload, reload. They're eating the bait. They're eating the bait. Now, if I can hurry up and catch that guy in the back. Bait is being devoured, yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. There it is. Bam! Now I will finish you. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That guy was quickly dispatched. We got our... Oh, we're out of stamina. Okay, slowly go. Alright, come on. Come on. Okay, back out there we go. Now we're waiting. We are waiting. Now for the tricky part. We have to shout to get his attention. And then run back. Ah, crap! No, 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 no. Did he see me? Did he see me? No, he didn't. He just saw the bait. That's good. I guess the smell attracted him. Let's hurry up and do this. He's going to be on that for a moment. Here we go. Reload, 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 reload. Can I catch him with a headshot? Actually, I don't want to waste a bullet. Let's go straight for him. Come on. Yeah, I like my blessings. Huzzah. Didn't even have to use my bonfire. No money spent. Sweet. Thick skin. So I have a... Start by night without taking any damage. Nice. Oh yeah. Woohoo! No damage to anything. And we level up again and made some money. Sweet. We can now afford the armor if we want. The Sawmill. For obscure reasons, he has always refused to divulge. Uh, Phidias, uh, Saint Crepaud's, uh, father left his native land of Arcadia, uh, Arcadia, 
to settle in the Wolf's Veil vale region, becoming the operator of a sawmill for the W. Hood Co. Since then, Phidias has taken over for his father, but the infernal beasts have made life difficult for the Acadian. They've been specifically targeting his mill for some time now. So, is that the miller, I guess? Yeah, it's got to be the miller. All right, well then, let's get going. All right. Chapter 5, A Mill and Problems. December 9th, 1858. The beast did a lot of damage last night. So I'd gone down to the hardware store in the village to get stuff to fix my mill. I was coming back, and since I didn't have any more tobacco in my pouch, I said to myself, it'd be a good idea to warm myself up a little at Jackie's. Say, Phidias, could there be something here that's attracting the beast? Except for my cabin, my barn, there's just your mill. But the attacks keep getting worse night after night. You're not hiding anything from us, are you, friend? Me? Hiding something? As I live and breathe. In fact, if there's something I would have liked, it would have been for you to help me defend my mill last night. The lumberjacks from W. Hood Company came to take away the downed tree that was blocking the main road. So you can easily get to the mill now. And then if you help me, I'll help you back putting out your traps. With the three of us, it'll go faster. Sounds like a good deal to me. You can count on us tonight. We'll protect your mill. I like that the brothers have similar mannerisms. Hmm. So we're going to do a tutorial with the W hood now? All right. Chopping lumber. With access to the mill, you can now cut lumber for the W hood company. Just click on the button to chop wood. Each time you chop wood, you receive money for your effort in exchange for action points. Action points that are lost this way are represented by the orange part of the gauge. That's good. Ooh, spike trap. Hello. The spike trap. The spike trap automatically triggers as soon as three enemies are standing on it. This icon represents the amount of enemies standing on your trap. <laughs> Hello. That's got to cost money. Oh, what's this? The mill. You must now defend the mill. Gives me additional action points. Also cool. And 15 cents. Wow, that ain't, that ain't bad. 15 cents ain't bad. Inflicts 40 points of damage to enemy to every enemy standing on the spike trap when it goes off. Except for will-o'-wisps. Weight activated triggers when three or more enemies are on it. Can injure you if you go over it while it's being triggered. Eesh. Use sound bait or wind to attract the creatures onto the trap or else place it close to buildings to defend them while you're busy elsewhere. Yeah, good plan. Alright, so we have... All right, holy crap. Okay, so we got a werewolf going here. These wolves are going towards the mill as well. Hmm. Only two things are going towards here. So, let's see here. Where are they exactly going there? Well, we can put bait here. So put a bait. Click on it. There we go. Bait there. All right. Now over here, we got a werewolf here. We want to hold its attention here. And these two wolves. Where are these two wolves going to go? Click on them. There we go. Those two wolves are going to go towards the mill. So we're going to put another bait. Hmm. Hello. Let's put a bait here, actually. Let's take this one off. I want to remove. There we go. So where's he going? There we go. So we're going to put the bait there, which they should all see it, hopefully. And then our new friend, the spike trap, will click on it. Our new friend, the spike trap, will go right here. Now, once all three of them are on it, bam, that's going to hurt like hell. And I'll see the new wave. Uh, two of them? you got to be kidding me. All right. So this is a regular wolf, not a grand. Okay, so the were two werewolves here. I mean, one were- Nah, the numbers are messing with me. The number in the corner is the wave. The number right here is the is how many. So, over here we're dealing with three enemies and then two enemies there. Okay, so, over here. One werewolf- Only one werewolf is going this way. Okay. So then let's take the bait off. And put it here for better attention. Because here, th 
these guys will, will see it. And the ones from the first wave will see it as well. So we can use that multiple times. Now, once those werewolves activate this, it's gonna... Well, they're gonna get hurt, but they're not gonna die, and they're gonna start going for that mill. And see, over here, we got these guys going in the same direction. Now, we want them to be distracted by this. And then head here. And if we're lucky, they will all die a horrible death right there. Now, this werewolf's gonna go here. I can handle them one-on-one, -on -one, or I can put a trap over it. I'm gonna put a trap over it. There's no tree to hang it on. There's no tree there. All right, so I have to move this bait over to here. There we go. Oh, that's that's not close enough. Let's put this better here. There. Let's, okay, remove both. Re remove, right click, right click, there we go. Remove both of those, remove that. Let's put the bait first. There we go. And then put, not the bonfire, put this. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Let's put the bait... Put the bait there. Okay. And then take that out. Okay, there we go. So now we can spend the rest on logging. There we go. All that fine money. There we go. This should work out. Let's go to Woodvale a second. Wolfsvale. Okay, so... Wait, do we not have enough money for what we're about to do? We don't have enough money. Let me go back. What the hell am I doing? Because we only have 83. We need a dollar. Because we just spent 15 and 15. Nothing else costs money. Okay, well... Hmm. I guess we don't we don't make any of this until later, right? How do I undo this? Can I undo the wooden? I, apparently I can't. Alright, well let's get started then. New skill. Hmm. Oh, new skills. Okay. Second wind after you kill an enemy in melee combat, you recover. Oh, okay. Baiting. Takes longer to eat. Carpentry. Five more things to destroy your buildings and wash showers. No. Lumberjack. The action cut lumber for wood gives you three more cents for a total of four cents. I like it. I like it. More money, the better. So let's go back a second. So this should make us... Yep, there it is. Made us more money. Okay, let's get started now. Looking good to me. Now we take out these two werewolves and head over to the to the lumber mill to finish things off and then head over back. I think we got a good plan here. Yeah, we're going the right way. Here we go. Game paused. Here we go. Gonna fight these wolves right at the start. Now I'm gonna wanna use my rifle for one of them. You guys, where are you? Ah, crap. Ah, the bait's not in the right. I knew it was not gonna be in the right spot. Go, let's do this. There we go. Werewolf hunter, kill a werewolf in the trap. Oh, shoot, it worked. Oh, yeah, we gotta go back to the mill. There is one plan I forgot about, I think, and it's the guy over here, right? Yeah, I gotta fight this one while the bait's happening. Oh no, the bait's happening already. I gotta hurry up, gotta hurry up, gotta hurry up, gotta hurry up, gotta hurry up. Come on. Not in range, not in range. That guy's gonna attack that place. I forgot to set something up for that. Come on. There, that trap's gonna kill those wolves, so I gotta hurry up and get over there. The mill's under attack. Running. Come on, come on. I can save the mill. I just gotta hurry up. Apparently the bait gets destroyed when they die. There you go. All those wolves are going to get killed over there. I just got to hurt and get to the mill. Keep going. Come on. There we go. They're still alive. They're still alive. Crap, I got to hurry up. Mm, more. Come on. Come on. I see you. You see me. And now it's time to brawl. Come on. You and me, buddy. You and me. Ah, you hit me. Oh, you're enraged, huh? Come on. Come on. Let's see here. Put your big boy pants on. Let's do this. Ah. 
Roll. Ah, crap. Can't roll. Can't roll. Now I can roll. Oh, that was a good hit. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Yo, you think you're Wolverine now, huh? Come on. I'm Wolverine. Whoops, I missed. There we go. Oh, did they all die to the spike trap or not? Okay, they did. Okay. Woohoo! Nice. That, that went a little bit not as good as it could have gone, but we win. Hurrah! Nice pelts. Sawmill did take a little bit of a hit there. But we are successful. <laughs>